27 months ago, the Lord introduced me to my friend and brother in Christ, Dr. David Barnes. It was during a time that I was um, recruited, if you will, to become the head baseball coach of Southwestern College. Since that time, over the past 27 months, we have prayed together, fellowship together, loved the Lord together, and shared many, many memorable moments. I am privileged and honored to be here today. Not only in the presence of my brothers and sisters in Christ, but to stand on this platform amongst these great men of God and my brother David Barnes. I'll share a short story and move on. I met David at a very transitional time in my life. Prior to meeting David, my mother had passed away on my birthday, September 17th, three years ago. And when I came to um, Southwestern College, David befriended me in the way that only the Lord could send a man to another man. And the Lord enabled me to talk to David and confide in David and share with David things that I had experienced not only in the passing of my mother, but things that I experienced as the hitting coach for the Oakland Athletics. And as we began to share notes, we discovered that there was a seven year period where we both had gone through different things. And God has a unique way of bringing people into your life at the perfect time. See, David came into my life at a time of uncertainty, at a time when I wasn't really sure how God was leading my life. I had cried out to the Lord for seven years after I left the Oakland Athletics because certain things had transpired that I didn't feel were right. Yet I was seeking God for His divine providence. And at the right time, the Lord sent me to Southwestern College, which is now Arizona Christian University, to my brother and friend, Dr. David Barnes. What I'm trying to say to you today is this. You have before you today a man who understands leadership, his quiet confidence, and fixed ability to understand and project into the future is what God is giving you. He's humble and he's full of grace, but he's focused and he's driven. Don't let the quiet demeanor about him for one moment make you think that he doesn't understand and he's not hearing from the Spirit of the Most High God. Again, I'd like to say, David, God bless you. And may he lead you as only he can.